Hey, what's up, you awesome dudes? Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And actually, give me just a second. I want to grab this wagon real quick for what I'm about to do. I'm going to shoot him in the head. That should be enough. There you go. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you another awesome fishing location very close to the town of Valentine. I'm just going to need to escape these cops really quickly. So as I was saying, this place is located roughly one minute away from the town of Valentine. So it's super close. It's called Cattail Pond. And the beauty about this place is that you will be able to exclusively catch the most expensive fish in the game, which are of course the Northern Pikes. They spawn in huge numbers numbers over there and there's also some smaller fish spawning as well but if you're using even the river lure or the lake lure you're going to exclusively catch only those which is freaking awesome that is eight dollars per piece do pay attention to the road up until then because it's going to be quite bumpy so make sure that you're not doing what i just did yeah there you go went face in the dirt ate a bunch of it whatever let's just go and it looks like we're almost there so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go over this little river over here and there's that rock by the road and what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust my wagon because we're going to use this spot to put the fish in also pay attention to all of the fish in the water man i'm already seeing a pike there's also some small ones a deer if you want to do like deer hunting and all of that but we're going to exclusively focus on the fish they're even jumping out of the water god damn this is a nice place man i'm already feeling lucky about this so i'm going to put in my river lure which is obviously i'm not really sure if it's even appropriate for this place it's a pond a lake not really sure dude but take a look at all of the pikes underwater man i'm seeing one two three over there in the distance four right here Man, there's a lot of them actually, maybe even five, yeah, there's definitely five pike in the water. And here's the thing, the fact that there's only pike and small fish and you're using the river lure, it means that they are the only ones that are going to catch on, so you're going to exclusively catch the pike, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, which is the beauty of it, you're only going to get these ones, and I believe that if you're putting a timer, you're going to see them being grabbed every one minute or so, roughly one minute, it depends depends on your skills, on your fishing skills, and look at this, this is the first one we just caught, by talking we just caught the first one, a big old fish, and uh, look at this, I'm barely lifting it, Jesus Christ, that is a nice specimen man, 8, almost 8.5 eight kilograms, and this is going to catch 8 bucks at the market, but I'm going to put it down here, the reason I'm going to put it down here is simple, I don't want these to despawn, the servers are acting up, the game is acting up, really hope the Rockstar Games fixes this thing because it's really annoying, but in the meantime this is the workaround that you'll want to use, you're going to put in down at your feet, at your character's feet, and then just go ahead and fish for some more, we're going to aim for like 5 of them, I've been going out around the numbers but five is a decent number it's forty dollars per run and with this you're also going to be sure that they don't despawn so there's another one coming right in they tend to fight quite a little bit so be careful while you're doing pay close attention to the button prompts but also to your controller sometimes your controller doesn't vibrate for these big fish so you have to keep an eye out on the bottom right corner of your screen i've seen it happen a few times you know i think there should be a competition in the game like more to it more to fishing than it currently is like have a fishing competition with your friends see which one gets the bigger one have a challenge of a sort i would really like like to see something like that bring a little bit of diversity to the gameplay and whatnot I'm also seeing a lot of complaints about people losing their lures in this kind of stuff. I have no idea how even people are able to do that, honestly. I've been running with the same lure for 3 or 4 weeks now, or whenever the game was first released, but I haven't lost it since, not even once, and you can already see on my channel how many times I went out fishing, especially for the big guys. So yeah, as long as you pay attention, I have no clue how you can even lose this kind of stuff. So the way I'm going to set these up, we already have four on the ground, this is the fifth one, 879, holy moly, this is the biggest one yet. Can we go for 9 kilograms? I would love 9 kilograms, I think it's going to be the biggest fish in my entire series. But I'm going to go over here by this rock, jump over it, and I'm going to be able to like throw them in. 
Yeah, luckily enough, the game lets me do that. I hate it when they gray out the buttons, but as long as it's working, I don't really care. So I'm going to grab these one by one, throw them in really slow, really nicely. But check this out. There's a ton of fish still left in the water. Like, there's a lot of them. If you have a dynamite at hand that you don't plan on using on anything else, throw a nice little dynamite stick right there in the middle of the pond to get a few more kills, a little bit of extra XP, and then head over back in Valentine, you know, just like a big F U to the fish, in, in case you want to do something like that. Um, on the way back, as I've said, pay close attention to the road, this is not a straight line, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs, there's a lot of bumps as well, I'm going to head in really slowly right through these waters and look at that, the river itself is trying to take my fish, but because I have a box cart, it's not going to be able to do so, it's just rearranging them a little bit, which is not really a big deal, and oh, there's another player. Hey look at that, there's somebody else doing some hunting in the region. So that is actually quite cool, he didn't tag me or anything, I haven't been griefed at all. And that is actually quite nice, seeing other players on that grind, doing that hunting, doing that fishing, especially in these regions, which are super filled with uh, with animals, is quite nice. So I'm glad he didn't jump on me or anything, but I guess he was too busy to do his own thing. I'm also seeing some other dude here in town, it looks like he also sees me. I don't think this guy is going to like let me pass, is he? I hope he is. If he is letting me in, I'm going to give him a surprise. Seriously, I'm going to give him one of the fish if he lets me in. And so far, he definitely seems to do so. Like, he's definitely paying attention. He's like, oh my god, he got in so many fish. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this on the ground. Let me just unload these ones. And I'm going to give them to him. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to give them right now. Yeah, he definitely deserves that. I like spreading positivity wherever I go. So because this guy or girl was a good sport, I'm going to reward his actions. Or in this case, his inactions. And I really like seeing some like that, dude. I really like seeing people who don't automatically shoot you and grief you. Red Dead Online could use a little bit more positivity. So I think he's even selling his fish. That is nice, dude. He, he definitely caught on, I don't think he's going to like do anything now. And look at that, $8, and that is 8 by 4, $32, and if it was with the fish I just gave this guy, it would have been 40 Somehow these, uh, these guys also came in uh, Valentine, probably they're doing their own hunting and whatnot. Oh, and look at that, look at the fish, it's acting up, see, that's how it despawns. But luckily enough, he's here, and he's making them not despawn, I believe. I think that is what happens though. Is it? I'm going to check it right now. It's still like flashing and all of that like players do when you're completing a mission or, or when you're in a safe spot. That is actually so strange. Is this how stuff despawns? Because at this point I don't think it's even a bug, it's like a feature or whatever. Which kind of sucks. I mean I really want Rockstar Games to finish with this already. I really want to, to have stuff that doesn't despawn. Can we have that? Can we have that in the game? Can I put 10 fish in my wagon? that don't despawn, I would really like that. What do you guys think? What does this guy think? I'm gonna like wave to him, thanking him and whatnot. Like look at him, he's giving me a thumbs up. That was a sweet run dude, that was a sweet run. I really love seeing these moments in the game, that is why I'm like kinda still playing a little bit. It's because I'm seeing these moments, look at him, he's going and doing his own thing, I'm going to go doing my own thing, and we just met two players who weren't sons of I'm not gonna say the word, PG-13. So this is roughly half day right now, we started the hunt at 8 o'clock in the morning, in game time by the way, and now it's 3 o'clock, uh, so that's like what, half a day, not really half a day, like 6 hours in game, that is roughly 15 minutes on real world time, so that is quite a good run, if I didn't give him the fish, which this time around I did, I would have gotten like $40 straight. Appears that the lake is still filled with these things, look at this, look how many pikes there are man, we're gonna catch quite a few of these, look at this big boy, come to daddy, it's going to be 6.69 kilograms, that's actually smaller, significantly smaller than the previous ones, it would be lovely to have like a system in which fish 
have a base price and then the heavier it is, the bigger it is, the more its price increases. I mean, it's kind of absurd that this fish is 6.5 kilograms and it still costs $8 as much as the one that was almost 9 kilograms. I would have loved to see a difference in price. It would have been more realistic if realism is even a strong point of this game. And this time around, I'm not seeing anybody in town. This time around, I'm alone. It's uh, it's really nice to see that. It's really nice to see Valentine and the butcher not having any other people around them. So this is this is a productive run, by the way. This has been a quite productive run. Nothing despawned. We didn't get griefed, and uh, that's pretty much it. That sums up this video, ladies and gents. I hope, as always, you enjoyed this video, and if you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this, and I will see you guys in our next adventure. So peace out.